Welcome, 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 welcome. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. One time I was telling a coworker about uh, going on ADHD medication, and this is a Mexican guy, and he said, you know, down in Mexico, we don't actually have ADHD. Back th- down there, we just call it, it's just lazy. It's lazy. He's all, like, he's all like, my dad says he has ADHD. I don't think so. I just think lazy. His words, not mine. Anyway, that got me thinking a lot about lazy and a lot about how I think I might be a little lazy. And maybe if you're just lazy, boy, is this the video for you. Today, I'm going to teach you how to call out of work. Calling out of work is something most many Americans do. Um, but I'm going to tell you a couple of true and personal stories. Uh, if any future employer sees this, this is uh, something called satire. None of it's real. Simply for comedy uh, and fun. Something I really hate is when a lot of people say stuff like, um, you don't owe your bosses anything. You don't need to owe, th- you don't owe them shit. When I call out, I just say, I'm not showing up today. I need to take a personal day for mental health. I think all these bosses are just as shitty as you do, uh, but here's why just giving no explanation is a bad idea. Unless you're quitting that job, inevitably when you come back, they will be uh, more upset at you than they were before. In all honesty, when an employer hears the, I'm just not going to come in today, sorry, see ya, the two words they think is unoriginal pussy. My personal belief is they've heard it all before, so if anything, they most likely know you're calling out. At least give them something a little bit original. I could be wrong here. This might just be an inflated ego about a very um, bad topic. But I think I'm pretty decent at calling out of work. I've done it a lot. I uh, cover my my trails. Not even Walking Dead Daryl could track me. Even for the shittiest jobs, you should come up with a lie. And actually, if you're worried about getting caught, a massive, complex, elaborate lie might actually make them respect you more and realize you're not an unoriginal pussy. These are genuine tales uh, from my experience in the workplace. Number one, sicknesses. The reason I think an elaborate lie is better than just saying, hey, sorry, I'm sick, I can't come in, is because that, like, how many times a, a, a manager or boss has heard that is unfathomable. They've heard that so many times, it makes me think that they would rather hear something else. Even if they also think that other reason's bullshit, I think they'd rather hear something else than like, sorry, I'm sick. But yeah, in terms of just like oh, food poisoning or like, I'm fucking sick. Unless you like throw up on your boss on the job that they, like, they're not going to believe you. One thing that's really good is if you already know you're going to call out the day before you call out. If you know you're going to call out the day before, give your employer a call and say, hey, just to let you know, I'm feeling really weird. I'm feeling really sick. I don't really know what's going on. Or I have vertigo. Vertigo is a really good one, especially with a job that requires a high, high levels of performance. Vertigo is great because that's just a general symptom that could be anything. People are so afraid of being sued because someone was dizzy. But yeah, just give them a call. You know, I'm sick. I have vertigo, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know just in case. That'll That's called softening the blow for them. This is something I've genuinely done. I've said exactly that, and then I've gone out and, like, gotten Im- insanely drunk. Stayed up until, like, 6 in the morning when I had work at 10 or 10.30. I woke up, obviously woke up extremely hungover. I got, like, four hours of sleep. I went to work, and I'm just like, hey, just to let you know, I don't know what's going on in my stomach. I feel really bad. I don't know what happened. I got like 10 hours of sleep last night. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm really going to try to push through. But if I feel bad, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to go home. And this actually isn't even that much of a lie because, yes, you 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 feel bad. This is this option is pretty much self-induced food poisoning. That's actually all this is. And after you've powered through about 30 minutes, just throw up in front of anybody in, in the place. I did this at a burger place. I just threw up on the ground in in front of everyone. I literally went to the bathroom, chugged a ton of tap water, stuck my fingers down my throat, and then walked out, and then I'm like, (laughs) and then I was like, oh, okay, guys, no, I'm good, and then projectile vomited, like, all over the floor. After you throw up all over the ground, just start crying, and if you can, bonus points if you shit yourself. I didn't shit myself, but I did cry. I just started crying. (laughs) With this sickness option, they're not going to have any reason to, to think you are a liar. Again... I guess in reality, you're not lying. It's just self-induced. It's just a self-induced poisoning. 
This next sickness related one is pretty solid. I think this one could get a lot of people out of a lot of things. I did this at when I was at Regal. Something that nobody likes to be around is a sexually transmitted disease. And it's great because few people lie about having sexually transmitted diseases, like, on purpose. I called my boss because I just didn't want to work that day, and I said, hey, I can't come into work today. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have crabs, and I got to go to the clinic. And just to go further with the lie, I told them I'm pretty sure I got it from another employee. <laughs> I'm sure it's been done before, but that one's so wild, and it's something that no one wants to hear. They'd be shocked that you'd even say something like that. Even if the average worker did have crabs, you can imagine it's something they'd lie about, when in reality it would totally get them out of work. So just go above and beyond. Say you have syphilis. Go above and beyond. Just an STD of any kind will definitely get you out of work. Another great way to get out of work is grandpa's dead or grandma. I use grandpa because both of my grandpas died a long time ago, so I have no guilt whatsoever because... In a way, again, going on with the theme, I'm not really lying. <laughs> Grandpa is dead. It was just in 2009. The only problem with this one is it's an elaborate lie, and you can really only use it once, but it can get you off of multiple, even weeks of work. When I worked at a grocery store pushing carts, I, I told this one. It's definitely my craziest calling out a work story because I made myself cry twice to pull it off. And it works best if you're like a couple hours into a shift. So this is a good one for like getting out of work way early. So basically in front of your boss, you get a phone call, you have to fake the phone call. Don't mention anything about grandpa, just be like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh God, hang up the phone in, in front of your boss. Your boss will ask what's wrong and uh, you just say, um, oh, my grandpa just, had a heart attack, a Widowmaker heart attack, 80% blockage. When I did this in real life, it was right after Kevin Smith had had his heart attack, and I just relayed exactly what happened to Kevin Smith, and it sounded really believable. It was like, Widowmaker heart attack. It was a Widowmaker heart attack, 80% blockage of the, of the fucking pineal gland. <laughs> Whatever the fuck I said, but it sounded really good. Find a real heart attack story and just relay exactly what happened, and then they'll definitely just send you home, and you have the day off. Now here's for dead grandpa's second day off. You can use this in a couple ways. You can either come back into work, do a shift, go back home, have both of these calls be within like a three-day window, four-day window. Basically, you're at work, everything's normal, blah, 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 blah. You get another phone call, maybe even not in front of your boss. You don't have to do it in front of your boss this time because you've already established grandpa, uh, grandpa's, heart, grandpa's widow maker heart attack. Keep in mind, the first call, grandpa didn't die. Grandpa just had a heart attack, and so grandpa's still alive for later use. Grandpa dies in the second call. Again, second call. Another day at work. Again, this is great if you have work scheduled two days in a row because you'll come back second day. They'll be like, oh, how's your grandpa doing? I don't know. Like, oh, I don't know. He's in the intensive care. We'll see how he's doing. I don't, I'm not sure. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? We'll see how, but I'm a great employee for showing up in light of my uh, sick, dying grandfather. They'll be like, oh, I'm, they'll go really easy on you too. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. How I did it was I just wanted to leave early like two days in a row. I didn't, but what you could do is just straight up the next day, if you have work, just call and say, my grandpa's dead. Cry over the phone, do whatever you need. That's a great one. With this second call, you can get up to three days off of work, uh, depending how close you were to your fake grandfather. <laughs> the great part is the third call. The third call is great because you can get up to a week off work, maybe even paid. And that would be the out-of-town funeral. I'm sorry, I have to go to fuck to Fuxville for out-of-town funeral. Uh, I'm going to be gone for four to five days. I'm going to be with my cousins. I don't know when I'm going to be back. Sorry I couldn't give you two weeks notice. I didn't know my grandfather was going to die two weeks ago. This may sound bad, but I think if all my previous employers like came together and like did the numbers, they'd be like, holy shit. This guy has had eight grandpas die in the past two years. This last one is uh, the acting job, and it's definitely a one-er, and you have to use it with an employer you know likes you. And this is especially pertains to any type of like theater kid bullshit, like film guy, anything, anyone in that world. Basically, I was at Trader Joe's, and I really needed the day off, so I came up with an elaborate lie instead of saying I needed the day off. I basically said that my friend had a small part in some like indie movie, low budget movie and you know, whatever, but it was a, you know, it was a pseudo big deal. 
I think what I actually said was the kid who plays Dudley in the Harry Potter series is starring in a movie that is being shot here locally, and my friend plays a small character, and he has a scene partner, um, and the scene partner for whatever reason, couldn't make it, and apparently, I guess, he looks a lot like me, and he only has one line, so my buddy showed the director a photo of me, and the director said, fuck it, call him up, and it pretty much was like, so I technically have an acting job that I can get paid for, and all this stuff, and it'd just be really great, and then I'd be, be able to be on set, all this stuff, and I remember vividly, I feel I feel almost bad about this one, because it was one manager that I really, really liked. He was just like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. We'll find a cover. Go do it. Go do it. I'm like, yes, yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm going to be, yeah. Basically, just pretend you have a really big, like, you know, any once in a lifetime chance opportunity. And if the, you know, if your boss likes you or, or gets it, they will, you know, they'll let you, they'll let you go off and run. That one I weirdly feel the worst about because it has to be with somebody who likes you. Most of these other call outs I've used on people who hate me. <laughs> so I feel nothing telling them my grandpa's died eight times. But yeah, you can use these. Maybe I'm just outing myself for all future employment. Maybe I just can't use any of these anymore, uh, so this video better not blow up. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, employers are used to the bullshit, I'm sick. I have dentist. Come up with something insane, and they'll most likely, I feel like most likely they'll believe it. If it's something this insane, if it's something as insane as saying, I hate, sorry, I can't come to work, I have AIDS, they might believe you. Anyway, that's, that's the end of this video. I'm done, I'm sick of it, I'm over it. Uh, I gotta call out of work now, I gotta tell them I have AIDS. Thank <laughs> you.